This video is designed to help you start a cigar lounge business. At the end of the video, you'll find a valuable gift. It's a cigar lounge business plan that you can download and will lay down for you, step by step, everything you need to know to start a successful cigar lounge business of your own. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. The cigar lounges industry comprises businesses known as smoke shops, cigar bars or lounges, where patrons can purchase and smoke cigars freely, without fear of breaking the law of a country or city. Businesses in this industry usually provide limited food and alcohol services, as a means of increasing their revenue generation. The cigar lounges industry has made a strong comeback in the United States over the last five years, as a large increase in cigar consumption has boosted the demand for cigar lounges, smoke shops. In the face of regulatory hurdles in obtaining an exemption from state indoor smoking bans, both industry participation and revenue have grown at rapid rates since 2010. It is important to state that in as much as starting a smoke shop business can be profitable and rewarding, the success of any cigar lounge business in the United States is not automatic. The chances of new smoke shops struggling within the first six months of launching, can't be ruled out. As a matter of fact, it can take between two to five years before most cigar lounges and similar businesses can recover their initial investment. In other words, just like loads of new businesses, the statistics for cigar lounges do not favor startups, you just have to have a long-term investment plan if you intend starting your business. Market Research and Feasibility Studies The demographic and psychographic composition of those who patronize a cigar lounge, cut across all genders and adults, from different tribes and races, hence the demographic composition of the cigar lounge business is all-encompassing. The truth is that when it comes to selling cigars and cigarettes at Al, there is indeed a wide range of available customers. In essence, your target market can't be restricted to just a group of people, but to all those that reside around the locations where you have your cigar lounge, and who have the purchasing power. So, if you are thinking of opening your own cigar lounge business, then you should make your target demographics all-encompassing. It should include corporate executives, socialites, students, migrants, entrepreneurs, business people, celebrities, military men and women, sports men and women, tourists, and every adult in the neighborhood where your cigar lounge will be located. Decide what niche to concentrate on. It is important to state that there is no known niche area when it comes to the cigar lounge business. Every player in this line of business is basically involved in making available a place, where patrons can purchase and smoke cigars freely, without fear of breaking the law of the country or city. But it is common to find a standard cigar lounge engage in all or some of the following. Sale of cigars. Sale of tobacco-related accessories. Sale of other tobacco products. Sale of food and drinks. Mass marketing of cigars and cigarillos. Premium cigars. Providing a cigar-friendly smoking environment. Assorted red and white wines. Beer and liquor. Distilled spirits. Martinis. Tobacco. Sale of e-cigars. Competition. The competition that exists in the cigar lounge line of business goes beyond competition amongst cigar lounges in your location. You are expected to compete with outlets such as nightclubs, bars, hookah bars, beer pubs, that also sell cigars and cigarettes at al. Thus, it will be right to say the competition in the cigar lounge business is tough. The truth is that no matter the level of competition in an industry, if you have done your due diligence, and you brand and promote your products or business properly, you will always make headway in the industry. Just ensure you have varieties of cigars, cigarettes, tobacco, and other products from top manufacturing brands. Within and outside the United States, you can deliver excellent customer services, and you know how to attract and reach out to your target market. But over and above, there are several cigar lounges and outlets such as nightclubs and bars, hookah bars, and beer parlors, that also sell cigars and cigarettes, scattered all around the United States. So, if you choose to start your own cigar lounge business in the United States, you will definitely meet stiff competitions amongst these rivals. Besides, there are larger cigar lounges that determine the trends in the industry, and you should be ready to compete with them for customers. Economic Analysis If you are looking towards successfully launching a business and maximizing profits, then you need to ensure that you get your economic analysis right, and try as much as possible to adopt best practices in the industry you choose, to build a business in. Cigar lounge business is not a green business, as a matter of fact. You will come across several cigar lounges and other outlets, such as nightclubs and bars, hookah bars and beer parlors, that also sell cigars and cigarettes, when you drive through town. So, if you are mapping out your economic analysis, 
you should carry out thorough market survey and costing of what is required to rent a space where you are expected to open your cigar lounge business and the amount required in furnishing and equipping the facility and of course purchasing your first supply of tobacco related accessories and also the cost to successfully run the business over and above if you are considering starting a cigar lounge business then your concern should not be limited to the cost of renting a shop facility and furnishing and equipping the facility and of course purchasing your first supply of tobacco related accessories but also on branding and on how to build a robust clientele base the truth is that if you are able to build a robust clientele base you are sure going to maximize profits in the business the next part of the video is not specific to the cigar lounge business nevertheless this knowledge is essential for success in the cigar lounge business as well as in any other business ignore it at your own peril Operating a successful cigar lounge business will depend on the following four conventions. 1. A practical plan, with a solid foundation. 2. Dedication, and willingness to sacrifice, to reach your goal. 3. Technical skills. 4. Basic knowledge of management, finance, record keeping and market analysis. As a new owner, you will need to master these skills, and techniques, if your business is to be successful. Finding a niche. Small businesses range in size from a manufacturer, with many employees, and millions of dollars in equipment, to the lone window washer, with a bucket and a sponge. Obviously, the knowledge and skills, required for these two extremes, are far apart, but for success they have one thing in common. Each has found a business niche, and is filling it. The most critical problems you will face, in your early planning, will be to find your niche, and determine the feasibility of your idea. Get into the right business at the right time, is very good advice, but following that advice, may be difficult. Many entrepreneurs plunge into a business venture, so blinded by the dream, that they fail to thoroughly evaluate its potential. Is your business idea feasible? Before you invest time, effort, and money, the following exercise will help you separate sound ideas, from those bearing a high potential for failure. Identify and briefly describe, the business you plan to start. Identify the product or service, you plan to sell. Answering yes, to any of the following three questions, means you are on the right track. A negative answer, to all of them, means the road ahead could be rough. 1. Does your product or service, satisfy an unfilled need? 2. Will your product or service, serve an existing market, in which demand exceeds supply? 3. Will your product or service be competitive, based on its quality, selection, price, or location? Market Analysis for a small business to be successful, the owner must know the market. To learn the market, you must analyze it, a process that takes time and effort. You don't have to be a trained statistician, to analyze the marketplace, nor does the analysis have to be costly. Analyzing the market is a way to gather facts, about potential customers, and to determine the demand for your product or service. The more information you gather, the greater your chances of capturing a segment of the market. Know the market before investing your time and money. In any business venture the following questions will help you collect the information necessary to analyze your market and determine if your product or service will sell this brief exercise will give you a good idea of the kind of market planning you need to do an answer of no to any of the questions indicates a weakness in your plan so do your research until you can answer each question with a yes one do you know who your customers will be two do you understand their needs and desires three do you know where they live? 4. Will you be offering the kind of products or services, that they will buy? 5. Will your prices be competitive, in quality and value? 6. Will your promotional program be effective? 7. Do you understand how your business compares with your competitors? 8. Will your business be conveniently located, for the people you plan to serve? 9. Will there be adequate parking facilities, for the people you plan to serve? Planning your startup. The following questions are grouped according to function. They are designed to help you prepare for opening day. Merchandise. Have you decided what items you will sell or produce, or what services you will provide? Have you made a merchandise plan, based upon estimated sales, to determine the amount of inventory you will need to control purchases? Have you found reliable suppliers, who will assist you in the startup? Have you compared the prices, quality, and credit terms, of suppliers? Business records. Are you prepared to maintain complete records, of sales, income and expenses, accounts payable, and receivables? 
Have you determined how to handle payroll records, tax reports, and payments? Do you know what financial reports should be prepared and how to prepare them? Finances. A large number of small businesses fail each year. There are a number of reasons for these failures, but one of the main reasons is insufficient funds. Too many entrepreneurs try to start and operate a business without sufficient capital, money. To avoid this dilemma, you can review your situation by analyzing the following three questions. 1. How much money do you have? 2. How much money will you need to start your business? 3. How much money will you need to stay in business? In order to answer the second question, how much money will you need to start your business? You need to prepare an estimate of all your startup costs. Here is a list of items you may need to take into account. Note that this list is for a retail business. Items will vary for service, construction, manufacturing or online firms. Decorating and remodeling, fixtures and equipment, installing fixtures and equipment, services and supplies, beginning inventory cost, legal, professional fees, licenses and permits, telephone utility deposits, insurance, signs, advertising for opening, unanticipated expenses. Now, the answer to the third question, how much money will you need to stay in business, must be divided into two parts, immediate costs, and future costs. From the moment the door to your new business opens, a certain amount of income may come in. However, this income should not be projected in your operating expenses. You will need enough money available to cover costs for at least the first three months of operation. The following list will help you project your operating expenses on a monthly basis. Typical expenses for one month may include your living costs, employee wages, rent, advertising, supplies, utilities, insurance, taxes maintenance, delivery, transportation, miscellaneous. Now sum up the total estimated monthly expenses and multiply it by three. This is the amount of cash you will need to cover operating expenses for three months. Deposit this amount in a savings account before opening your business. Use it only for those purposes listed in the above list because this money will ensure that you will be able to continue in business during the crucial early stages. By adding the total startup costs to the total expenses for three months, you can learn what the estimated costs will be to start and operate your business for three months. By subtracting the totals of the lists from the cash available, you can determine the amount of additional financing you may need, if any. Now you will need to estimate your operating expenses for the first year after startup. The first step in determining your annual expenses is to estimate your sales volume, month by month. Next, determine the cost of sales. You may want to use a spreadsheet to do this. After startup, the primary source of revenue in your business will be from sales, but your sales will vary from month to month because of seasonal patterns and other factors. It is important to determine if your monthly sales will produce enough income to pay each month's bills. An estimated cash flow projection will show if the monthly cash balance is going to be subject to such factors as the following failure to recognize seasonal trends, excessive cash taken from the business for living expenses, too rapid expansion and slow collection of accounts, if credit is extended to customers. Conclusion If you have carefully answered all the questions in this video, you have seriously thought about your goal. However, there may be some things you may feel you need to know more about. Owning and running a cigar lounge business, is a continuous learning process. Research your idea, and do as much as you can, yourself. But don't hesitate to seek help from people who can tell you what you need to know. As we conclude this video, it's time you get your free cigar lounge business plan gift. Go to the description below this video to get it now. It is completely free, no strings attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this.